Hello guys, welcome to next video of this playlist Python for beginners. In this playlist, currently we are exploring OOPS concept. So let's continue the exploration of this concept. For that, let's move to our destination folder. So this is our destination folder as you can see. Now I will simply open this folder in VS Code. So the folder is open in VS Code. Now let's open today's file. The title of today's video is Access Modifiers and today is day 47 as you know. Access modifier gives us ability or power to control the access of methods and private variables so that we can control which method should be accessible and which method should be private to us depending upon the confidentiality of that method or that variable. In Python or any other programming language there are three main access modifiers. So they are public, protected and private. So public means anyone in the world can access those method or variables. Protected means only the inherited class means a child class can access protected members of its parent class and no one other can access it and the last is private access modifier which we have already seen. It is only accessible within the class and no one can access this variable or methods. So public access modifier or variables can be declared using simple method name. Protected access modifier can be declared using single underscore method name and private access modifier or methods can be declared using double underscore method name so the method name can be anything let's say uh, display so this is public method and protected method can be written using underscore display and on the other hand private method can be declared using double underscore that i have already written and name of the method which is display so this is a special way to declare types of access modifiers. Now let's take an example to understand this concept more clearly. So the example is same of previous video which is class phone and other class is smartphone and phone has been inherited in smartphone class as you can see and in main class phone which is parent class I have only initialized constructor and added here price, brand, version and other things. After that I have created an object of smartphone class as you can see and I have passed here three contents which are price, brand and the version and after that I have simply printed the output which is apple.brand, price and version so it should print this output but looking to the code do you think that the output will be printed because in class smartphone there is no constructor so think and answer to me now let's test it by running the code so the answer is in phone constructor and the contents are apple 15,015 which is this apple.brand, apple.price which is second argument or parameter and the last is version. So what happened is that when this object was created it simply goes to his objects and it see that there is no such constructor. So it goes to his parent class which is phone. Then in parent class there was predefined constructor. So it simply stored the values there and object was created in parent class and not in child class and after I have simply printed apple.brand which means the details of the class smartphone. So this was a simple example. Now let's take other example. So I will comment this part and uncomment this part. So the code is exactly same only I have changed one thing is that I have made this variable private as you can see. So I will simply erase this line and do you think the code will run with no errors yes you are thinking right the code will run without errors i will show you the output which is correct as you can see in phone constructor and two parameters are printed now if i try to print third parameter which is let's say print uh, apple dot price price is private variable in class phone so it cannot be accessed by any of it so I will simply run the program to show you the error. So the error is that attribute error smartphone has no object price which means that smartphone doesn't know that the parent has any variable name price. And now let's check the protected access modifier. So I will simply it is one line and it will be clicking protected access modifier. And so I will simply modify this line to let's say underscore price. It's wrong dot underscore price 
I hope it will run without any errors. So as you can see the output is in front of you with no errors. So this was basic example of public access modifiers, private access modifiers and public access modifiers. That's all for today's video. If you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Also if you face any queries or have any doubt in this code you can simply message me on Instagram or comment section below. And the source code of today's video is available in video description. You can definitely check out that. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.